you know what? We have had this machine now for, I can't remember how long. Have I ever been allowed to use it? No. Well, as uh, Jane did say, my machine? Yeah. Yeah. I've um, totally and utterly... We were doing so well this We were morning. doing really well. Good morning, really? everybody. Let's, let's, oh, yeah, start, let's start with start good the morning, everyone. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Natasha Makes. Um, I'm just finishing off a quick make, and um, I needed to change the needle, and it just completely jammed. And it was, of course, with two minutes to go to air. We all gave it a go. There we all gave it a go. We can't. Can't do it. Wasn't going to happen no. for us. No. No. Um, so, so yeah, so we had a quick machine change around. A little bit of uh, madness. And you know what? I'm really excited because I haven't worked with this one. It's one of the ones, because it's so good for quilting, this is the, um, the Kiri um, HZL UX8. Oh, is this the one with the, um, the screen and... Yeah, oh. yeah, yeah, so you can link it to... Um, uh, YouTube and all that kind of stuff. That's mental. It's that really can do clever, that isn't on it? A sewing machine. Really, really, really clever. Um, so that's yeah, that's exactly that machine. So I've now got completely the wrong colour thread in it, but never mind, never mind, never mind. What we are doing is just finishing off the carpet bag for you for today. I feel like I could fit in that bag. Do you know what? It, it is it is a big one, but need to top stitch around the top and there's a few other little bits and bobs that I need to I um, love it though. to add in yeah so the tapestry fabrics arrived and um, I was like what are we going to do with this so there's a few little things that I just want to add on to this but it's going to be like that but it isn't it isn't because you have the option to pop a little popper so that Folds in, gives it, it folds nice, in. nice shape. Oh. I don't know why, this really reminds me of like the old school luggage that I remember my grandparents used to have. Yes. It's that feel. And this tapestry fabric is really, really, really lovely. Really, really, really lovely to work with. I will finish that later. I'm going to pop that up here. This quilt behind me that it clashes with horribly <laughs> <laughs> is tomorrow's show. Um, which is Jane's one, which we love. We do love, 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 love it. Um, for those of you that didn't see the handbag handle show, handbag handle show, all about the handles. All about the handles. Then you might have missed these. These are interchangeable bag handles. They look fab. They're brilliant. Mm. They're absolutely brilliant. You just unscrew them and change them around, which is perfect. Fabulous. And I've worked out the best way to insert them. So that's what we're doing. Today, though, on the show, we have got beautiful, beautiful William Morris tapestry fabrics. Uh, we've got Klimt. We have got cork. We have got all the things in all the world for you today. Yeah. Hooray. Including those two handles. So you can have it in tan or you can have it in blue. Just screw them out. Screw them in. So you need one. You know, you just get the colours that you want. We're going to add to the so colours. So clever. Right. Because you only use one bag at a time. You do. But we all need a million to choose from. Exactly. But just change it. I put photos up of that bag in the cave with the two different handles. And looks it still so looks different. Fab. Looks so different with each different colour handle on. Yeah. Um, so when these tapestries came in, I've done a few various things. With them just to show how versatile they are but firstly we're going to say good morning to everybody sj's here with me this morning good Hello. morning sj are you well i i am ish i got got a little frog in my throat so i apologize if there's any coughing throughout the show um we've got sue with us she says hello everyone hello. sue langford um jimmy good morning are you on facebook finding all these? i am do you want me ah. to can you, can you see them i can see them got helen Ginny. Elizabeth Krangle. Oh, hang on. Gabriel says, uh, morning, all good news. My grandson was born Saturday, premature but healthy. Ah. Huey. Oh, that's lovely, isn't it? 
Congratulations. Oh, there's nothing better, is there? I know. Absolutely gorgeous. And then over on YouTube, Trisha Goodyear saying, love that carpet bag. Um, so, yeah, someone said to me, oh, can't you make it? I think it was Claire said, can't you make it? Um, I'm in the way completely. Can't you make it smaller and lot, you know, I'm like, but it is. It is sort of smaller and wider. Mm -hmm. You can fit a lot in it. If you're going to have a carpet bag, have a big carpet bag. Um, and, and also... Oh, crikey, Julia's got a grandchild due in two weeks as well. Wow, 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 wow. Um, this is very exciting. They, they seem to come like buses, don't they? Yeah, that's what, definitely what happened last year, wasn't it? Mm. I remember um, going for dinner with my mum and dad. Their first grandchildren were due five days apart. So my brother's first oh, and, and my son yeah. were due five days apart. Obviously, Freddie being a bit Cornish was there directly and they ended up being in two weeks' part. Cornish. <laughs> <laughs> but she's just a laid back Cornishman, what can I say? Um, but yeah, and I remember telling my dad like two days after they'd just found out they were going to be grandparents for the first time with my brother, and he just sat there and he went, like buses. Like buses. <laughs> like, all right, good, excellent. <laughs> Not jumping with joy then, no. <laughs> Like buses, didn't think we were ever going to have any. And then all of a sudden, they all come at once. Um, cork bottom bags. We love them. We do love them. And the other thing is, I'm just going to turn the lights on, SJ, because half of them are missing. There we go. Oh, that's better. We didn't oh. quite that, did we? <laughs> Sorry, everybody. It's all right. Um, now, this is, this is just a different size take on the cork bottom bags that we've done before, but with these handles that we had last week. Now, these handles that we had last week, I started putting in a um, three-tone tote bag. But what I've done is I've upgraded the hardware on these. So they come with a silver rivet. Mm -hmm. uh. But what I have, and I can always get some more, um, is, I don't know if we can go overhead for this. I've switched them out for screw and rivets, ah. which again means I can use these handles again elsewhere. You can just take them out. I can just take them out. I can just unscrew them and use them elsewhere. So clever. It's so clever, but it also helps keep the lining in place. Yeah, it's just an extra security there, isn't mm. it? Yeah. I do think, you know... When you've got a certain handle on a bag, it just, it really does finish it off, doesn't it? It does. Yeah, it really does. And I wanted to have the cork base. And if you want to add bag bases at any point, then you can. And this only ended up being this wide because that was how wide. Yeah, you couldn't have cut it any smaller. No, 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 no. Um, we've got a handful of these. And you can sew them on. I haven't sewn mine on. I've glued mine on. Um, I will sew them on later. There's the back of it. And then it just comes around and just pushes through like that. How clever is that? I rather like that. But that's, yeah, that's the finished effect of it. Ooh, very pretty. So, um, yeah, we can, do, we can do that pattern now. Now, now, do you remember... The other week, I'm just going to take these handles off, I made this bag. Now, we didn't do this on air. If you are one of the Natasha McCarthy design members groups, you've got this as a full demo. But this goes in pretty much like most kiss clasps do. Here's the thing, right? The method of it is exactly the same as this bag here. I just love the handle on that. Isn't it gorgeous? So, I've done you a set of instructions, basically exactly the same as that, but what it does have is the um, ingredients that you need for a bag this size. It's a bit weird, isn't it? It is. Look at that. 
and you can get in and have a good I feel like these around. have to be like Mary Poppins style bags because you must just keep pulling things out of it. I think so. I think so. I think so. So I got and the structure gives me a bit of Mary Poppins vibes as well. Yeah, well that's why I went yeah. for the Styleville. So this is our M frame. So we've now done because the last time that I demoed the M frame was with this size bag. This is how versatile handbags frames mm -hmm. are, right? So if you want to get that, and this is done with a base with feet and everything else, you could do that. You would fit in your strawberry thief. Yeah, that would fit it in there. Um, but again, so this is a separate set of instructions. And if you want your new ones, you're looking out for the William Morris ones here. I've got three types of tapestry for you today. I just wanted to show you. I haven't even worked in one of them yet. But isn't that lovely? It's just big yeah. as well. And I just think these are gonna look absolutely stunning with jeans or anything like that. Oh yeah, because of the colors in it, the blues. Would yeah. Look, yeah, the blue tones just, I did take that to the pub with me for lunch and it just fit everything in. And all Emily's paraphernalia, because obviously she needed to craft. Yeah. You can't have kids and go to the pub without stuff for them to do and expect them to behave. Uh, yeah, she's no, thing, I went it? to the pub a few weekends ago with my niece and she's got her own little handbag that she needed to take to the pub with her. I know, I totally get it, I totally and, get it. And um, actually, yeah, we're glad that we did because it meant that she just sat there at the end of the table pulling all of this stuff out of a bag, yeah. spreading it across the table, but we got to enjoy our roast. She's how old is she now? She is going to be three in June. Three going on 30? Yeah, basically, yeah. yeah. One of those. Yeah. I said to her, um, Easter weekend, I went to go see her, I took her an Easter egg. I said, I've got a present for you, got a present for you. She opened it, this isn't a present. I said, well, what is it then? It's chocolate. I was like, that's, it's still a gift, I'm still gifting it to you. She wanted a full-on wrapped, Oh, did she? Present, because that's what a present is. Present is in wrapping paper with a bow on it, with, you know. Wow. Yeah. I was She's like, going right. to be disappointed then, isn't she? I was like, cool. She's up yeah. that, Auntie. I know. Come on, Auntie SJ. I was sort like, well, it I out. Can't, I can't call a Easter egg a present anymore. <laughs> I was a bit, I was so proud of myself because she's only just realised Fred, she's only just realised what chocolate is. Right. And uh, my brother-in-law had bought her a Freddo recently right. and it was a frog, chocolate, she loves, yep. she loves all the you know, wildlife so she was amazed at the fact that she was eating a frog chocolate. Yes. So I got her a specific Freddo Easter egg. I thought there was going to be so much joy. No. Nope. I was disappointed. You've got to see it all the way through. You've got to see it as a three-year-old. And that's... I needed to have wrapped it and put a bow on it, and then yep. it would have been a present. <sighs> yeah, it was yep. just chocolate. Could you pass me up from down here, please? Yes, Jay. Um, one of the velvet bags. How am I? Oh, I can't. You're right. No, you're all right. You're, you can get. No, it's all right. You won't be seen. I don't think you'll be seen. See that one? Yeah. That one. And one of the makeup ones down there. That one. Thanks. We have had various size. Um, tubular frames. So the 30 centimetre we did that with, made a bag, yeah. And then the 18 centimetre we made a makeup case with. Yes. And then my supplier sent me a whole load of 25 <laughs> centimetre ones by accident instead of the 30 centimetre ones. Which we're always happy to get an accident. Well, no, sometimes. No, I wasn't, because I've got orders waiting now. Yeah. For, oh, right, yeah. yeah, so I've had to reorder. But it meant that, I thought, well, what am I going to do with these? So I've done for, a com well, just done a different size for you. Um, again, you can buy these frames, and you can do whatever you want with them, absolutely. Uh, but this is just, this is really handy. Like a hold all, really. And this is in, oh. So this fabric came in, well, no. The climped came in. Can we go overhead for a second, please, yes. SJ? The climped came in. I was like, what fabric do I put with that? I wanted it to go with the velvet, but none of our velvets were the right colour. This is very pretty. Which meant that immediately I had to order. I went through, I've got a big, big sample book of velvets now. And so I just found, and it's this colour here. It's this blue, and it's called Bluebell. And it is so pretty. 
just so pretty. So that is brand new in. Um, and again, you can get a half meter of that, both of those. Whatever you do with it, it's up to you. But they were, they were on the Friday deals, they're there. With what I had left over from making the carpet bag, we've done the carpet, uh, the tapestry fabric for the carpet bags um, in meter pieces with a meter lining. And then with what you've got left over, you can do things like this. So you'd have enough left over to then do something. Like I said, they're really roomy. Yeah, they are. They're really roomy. So they are a roomier version, basically, of the makeup, you can see. And also, the other thing that I thought was, what I thought was, SJ, I'll be back on the screen in a second. Was that if you wanted to, you could, of course, oh, add your handles. Yeah. It's up to you. Fabulous. So, and, and because you'd add them afterwards, it would be much easier. And so then that gives you a different style and a different look to the velvet ones. So we've got all the choices, and this is where I feel like we're kind of carrying on from last week's show, in a way, with all the velvets. Uh, and all the handbags and everything, because we sort of are. Now, the other thing I thought with these, and this is why, I don't know if you saw this in your Friday deal as well. They flew out the window. Luckily, we were able to get a little bit more. <sighs> these were not cheap. I'm going to show you why. If we go overhead, I'll show you why. Um, so they kept, well, we did them as a duo, and then we had a little bit more of this one by itself. Um, but this could be the main event. But look, it's all embroidered. Yeah. It's exquisite. It really is. These were not cheap to get in, but you can see the detail in them. They're absolutely beautiful. We have sold out of them again. Have we? Yeah. Have we? They're okay. gone. They're gone, gone, gone. I didn't, I didn't know, but I just, if you manage to get it, and this is why you've got to have a look at those Friday deals. I've got a few of these sorts of things coming up in your Friday deals, so do keep a little eye out. Shall we take a look then at these tapestries? Because here they are. Um, so they're on the bolt. Well, they've, they've come on a roll for us, actually, at the moment. And, um, yeah. <laughs> Which is always a joy. Always <laughs> a joy. We had to rearrange the entire warehouse. Yeah. So that we would have a way to cut these. But I just want to show you. They're just as pretty on the reverse. They're really pretty on the reverse. I love these. I just love these. Um, yeah, they're, they're really, really beautiful to work with. So if you, you can buy it on its own or we've done it as a meter so that you get the full pattern repeat and then you get to fussy cut. So like I say, out of mine, I'm, out of my meter, I made two bags and had enough left over to have done one of the... Um, one of the 18 centimeter ones at least. Yeah. You know, there was, there was extra left over. So for a meter to be able to get three projects out of it, it's not bad. Because you're getting not a meter of your lining as well. This is your strawberry thief. If this sells out today, then there will be, there will be a delay in getting some more in. So if you do want it today, you know, just be aware of that. What we have in stock, we have in stock for today. Now, I've gone for, I don't normally go for greens, do I? I'm not really no. a green kind of person. However, I do love this one. Check this out. This is what I've done, my carpet bag. I really like this one. It's beautiful, isn't it? Mm -hmm. It's really, really beautiful. Do you know what it looks lovely with? Actually, all of them look lovely with it. And that is the cork. So you could do the cork bottom bag out of this, any of it. And again, looking at that bag there, that back, that's out there. They're just beautiful. Kenny's saying, wow, absolutely fabulous. High five, thank you so much, Natasha and all. 
Well, do you know what? <laughs> I yeah, I, I this company has been an absolute find. They've really upgraded our velvet. Yeah. Um, because I was on the lookout. I knew that we loved. I knew, knew, knew that we loved um, Odile's velvets. But she only does a certain run. Yeah. So we needed in between velvets. Yeah. And also, you know, they were coming in from France, so it would take a little bit longer. And, you know, they were. We needed, uh, we just needed options, didn't we? We needed beautiful day to day velvets. Yeah. Odile's are a higher price point. Yeah, they're more, yeah. And um, because, you know, they are they are designed well, by Well, those her. are all patterned as well, aren't they? Yeah, absolutely. So they're obviously, there's a lot more time that's gone into them, so mm. it's understandable. That but it sort of set me off on looking for a really, really gorgeous polyester velvet because we stock the cotton velvet, which is lovely and very easy. It's a great starter velvet. Mm -hmm. It's very easy to work with. Um, these are polyester velvets, so you just have to interface them slightly differently. Yeah. That's all. Um, and now we've got these tapestries and we'll see how they go. I love them. That is, that is, that is, that is that. <laughs> and then the third one that we've got on rolls up here, which you've probably already seen, but I've got cut ready to demo with today. Oh, Ken's asked, is that cork, my speaker? My speakers are not working. Oh, cork, yes, cork. Yeah. C-O-R-K. Cork. Um, yeah, the cork looks beautiful with all of it. And that's the cork that I did the cork bottom back with. And I just, yeah, and again, it's going to look really beautiful with this as well. You can get an idea, can't you? This is yeah. sold by the half meter, so you can buy that off the off our website if you want some of this. It's taken me a while to get cork again. Yeah, but there was um, a supply issue, wasn't there, with cork? Well, everyone, uh, everyone seemed to stop stocking it. So then I looked, I looked abroad to see if I could ship it in myself, and they wanted £75 to ship it per roll. Oh, wow. No one would. No. Just no one would... No one would pay for it if I had, because I'd have to pass some of that cost on, obviously. No. So, yeah, I've spoken to various suppliers asking if when they have containers coming in, I can add some in. It's been ongoing. And then I found this. And I was like, oh, here we go. Here's my friend again. Here we go. And it works beautifully with the tapestry, I feel. And it's a texture thing for me. It's all about the texture. Having those velvets, having these tapestries, it's just beautiful. So my question today is, and Gemma's going to kill me for this because she's like, I've set it all up to do the tapestry bag, Natasha, the carpet bag. Do you want to make the carpet bag? Do you want to do the cork bottom bag? Or do you want to do the tapestry end frame bag? You can do any of them. Decisions, decisions, decisions. We just can't do all of them. Shall we see Any what but the viewers not all. want? Quickly, everybody, type in your favourite. Uh, so, them in the comments. Another reason that we've done this by the meter is so that you can fussy cut. Because if you're going to the effort of making one of these bags, could you imagine if you just. I, I mean, it, it would break my heart if you didn't have that. It just works so perfectly, doesn't it? It kind of does. Oh, okay. There, <laughs> I think there's a Cliff favourite here so Which far. Um, carpet. We're getting a lot of carpet. A lot carpet. of carpet. Okay. Yeah. We'll carpet it then. Gillian, it, it's literally in capital letters. Carpet bag, please. <laughs> okay. We do have some love for the other ones. Not to say that they aren't beautiful as well. Um but carpet bag seems to be available. But do you know what? We have, I mean, we have done, we've certainly done these very recently. Oh, actually. What's the crimp look like with a brown hand? Oh. Gives it a very different look, doesn't it, actually? Yeah, no, it definitely does. I might pop these on the carpet bag one. 
later. Oh, Kenneth's like asking, that. never sewn with cork, what needle would they need to use? With our normal. cork, it's, yeah. No, normal. So it's, um, it's easier to sew with than PU or anything like that. The only thing is just increase your stitch length slightly. That's all the consideration that I ever make, is just to increase the stitch length a little bit. It's um, got a cotton bar uh, carrier on the back of it. And that is, that's no thicker than PU. I don't change my needle for PU. It's no, it doesn't need a leather needle or anything like that. It's just 80 Normal or 90. Needle. 80 or 90 on the needle front. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I haven't changed my needle for any of these. Mm -mm. None. None, none, none. Um, now, let's have a look at this, shall we? So, I've got to try and remember all of these measurements because it's, it's a big one today. It is a big one. We are going to go Twenty-six inches wide. That's how wide this is. It's a big, it's a big one. one, yeah. It is a big one. Which you can get out of this. Um, I have adjusted the height of it slightly to allow for because the for the lining, so that that will work with the lining. Now this one isn't so bad in terms of fussy cutting <coughs> oh it's a bit gorgeous isn't it I do really love it I just love it that's all there, that's all there is to it SJ I just love it so let's have a look at how we're going to cut this I don't think which way up it is. It's kind of is it this way. It's this way, isn't it? <coughs> Sorry. No, don't be silly. Honestly, it's okay. So, I took a metre home with me um, back down to Cornwall and I managed to make. I didn't, I wasn't able to fussy cut fully, but I was able to make. Um, the other bag, the thing you sent me to frame one. So where do I want SJ? Um, Mary's just asking again, how wide is the lovely tapestry fabric? So we said that it was 20. So, well, let's have a look at this on here. I think it's 50. So yeah, I've just folded it in half and it's coming up at like 28. Fifty-six inches wide. Okay, and we're going to cut this at. So this is going to be a spread it out on your mat job. <laughs> and use your mat to help you cut it. For sure. See, I like even the end bits. Look, you see all the different colours. It's rather fabulous. It is rather mm -hmm. fabulous. Now, my iron, you'll be unsurprised to know, <laughs> down in Cornwall was playing up this weekend and leaking everywhere, which means that I don't know if it was steaming properly. So I'm not quite sure if this will base onto Starville Fix or not properly. If it doesn't, then we have various other ways to work with it, because I had to find them. <laughs> it's as simple as that. I seem to have the kiss of death for irons at the moment. What, what number are we on now? I don't even want to think. I don't even want to think about how many irons I've killed. It's just ridiculous, just ridiculous. Um, totally and utterly ridiculous. So, um, yeah, we're not... We're just not looking at that strip that you've just cut off and it make a nice little, like, lanyard. 
Yeah, you see, you've, you've got, got you've, matching. Yes, exactly, for exactly. Your bag. Key fob would be beautiful. Would be really beautiful. Now, so whilst you are not going to have lots of fabric, that way you will have quite a lot of fabric left. This size, so you could get another bag out of it. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. So what I'm going to do is get the old stripology out here. Because first of all, we are going to cut, and we'll do this on both sides. I think I did it. I'm still writing up all these instructions for this. It's done. It's all photographed and everything. Um, but, 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 where did I put all the... There it is. Um, I'm going to take a little strip across. And then we're going to take... Aunt Lizzie is saying I could hang that fabric in a frame for the wall. Well, you could, couldn't you? And that's what you'll have left. You'll have two that size left, which means that out of that metre of fabric, you could get at least another two projects out of it. At least. Which is a bit special. Yeah. So we'll pop that to one side. We'll cut out all the bits first. It's um, it's a little bit different how I've done this one. So you're gonna have to bear with me because I've never made a bag quite like this one. Now, there we go. And Jane's machine is much bigger. <laughs> my mat's like, you're taking up my cutting mat size. It is considerably bigger, isn't it? It is. It's a chunky, chunky beast. Now, you don't have to do this top strip, right? And um, what I want you to do is save your Amazon, Amazon packaging or other car, anyone that sends you anything in a cardboard box, I want you to save a bit of that. Or you can get some of our S, oh God, what's it called? The really thick one, S, whatever it is. If Gemma was here, she'd be able to tell you. Oh, she'd know instantly. Yeah. But I can't um, not quite as skilled as Gemma is in that. Um, no, because Jane wafted it at me. She's like, what about this one? I'm like, yes, but. We are going to trim both of these down. I did I did just cut another one, didn't I? I'm not going mad, I did cut two. Am I done with it, SJ? Is that fold? There. There. <laughs> um, so this is gonna be Oh, it's so beautiful, isn't it? Isn't that gorgeous? Yes. Absolutely beautiful. Um, and here we are going to cut these strips down to a little wider than that central bit. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to interface the centre part, which feels a bit weird, but it just means that it's then easy to fold in. Ah, oh, okay, yeah. If you so want. You've still so you've got, got the, the structure, structure yeah. but... And I wasn't sure when I did it. I was like, is this even going to work? But it seems to. It does seem to. So I'm quite happy with that. And again, if you want to add on this bag feet, things like that, go for it. You know, you can, you've got all those add-ons, should you wish. Um, now here, what I would do is get yourself a little bit of your quilter's wash away tape. 
and just this is just going to help you fold over. So we'll start with the tabs. Right, if, 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 um, you want to put in a um, magnetic clasp, then you would put that in one side now. Okay, I'm going to use a sew on one, and I'll load those later um, so that we add them on after the effect. But if you want to put one in now, then you can. You're just going to have to be careful about how you would then sew around it. So, let's fold this over by half an inch. And again, it's just really nice to have that tape just to hold it in place. Um, Gemma has messaged me. She said, did you mean the, the S80, the extra heavy interfacing? Or the yeah. S5220, which is the firm interlining? Either of those would do the job. Um, for the simple reason that, or you can just get a bit of, oh, Jane's coming with it, I can hear, I can hear the pitch patter. Or the S133. S5220 that we were looking at. S5220, thanks, Jane. It's, it's one, it's any of the really firm ones that you use instead of cardboard, basically. Um, but if you've got cardboard, and I will ask Jane to bring me in a bit of cardboard in a minute. Oh no, I've got some down here. Um, you'll see, we're not going to do it yet. Um, you're going to baste along the bottom there. And, oh, let's have a look. Uh, 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 my sewing position. Um, needle position. There. I haven't used... Gosh, I haven't used this since it came out. Okay, we're done. We're done there. And then I want to increase my stitch length because I'm just basting. This is really testing you now, isn't it? I know, I know, I know. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, do a make that you've only just created. <laughs> On a machine that you... On a machine very that you literally <laughs> just switched across to. Oh, it really has put it right on the end there. Okay. I mean, that's good basting, right? <laughs> and then see if we actually have got any kind of camera angle for it. It's all going well, SJ. Yeah. Swimmingly. Someone wrote us the most beautiful review the other day. And it did mention the fact that stuff goes wrong. <laughs> Um, but it's like, it gives us, you know, gives us sort of confidence in how to get out of it. And, uh, and that's the thing, because if you say, as in life, we can all cope, can't we, when life is going well. It's more about what the heck we do when it all goes a bit pear-shaped. Just, let me just move that across to there. That's a better angle. There we go. Right. So we have on this just sewn so that it becomes a tube. Okay. Like I say, if you'd wanted to put um, a magnetic clip in, then you would do that centrally. One on either side now. But just make sure that it won't get caught up when you sew it in. Oh, you're gonna yeah. have to do it quite high, okay? Which is why I didn't use that sort this time around. Right, what we're gonna do now is pop these right sides together. Fold 
open half. We are going to take a big chunk out of this. It's a big one. Now what this does is give us this box bottom, um, but it's also giving us that central channel. I had a very sad moment this weekend, SJ. Why, what happened? Ages ago, one of our beautiful viewers sent me the complete box set of the original pole darks. Oh, okay. Hours and hours and hours. It came to an end. Yeah. I watched all of them. I watched them all over Christmas. Yeah. Uh, that really upsets me when I'm really getting into a series and it's a long one. Yeah. And then it comes to an end, yep. and I just don't know what to do with myself. Sad times. Um, or when that, you read a book. Or when I read a book, yeah. yeah. So yeah. I um, I couldn't get to sleep the other night, and I just thought, I'm just going to read a few pages of my book and hopefully fall asleep. Uh, three hours later, yep. I realised that I hadn't put the no. book down. No. And it had now gone past midnight, yep. and I still hadn't fallen asleep. Yeah. Uh, but it was a really good part of the book, really got into it. What are you going to do? Um, what are you going to do? And I just didn't realise time was passing by. Nope, nope, nope. <laughs> But, um, you see, that's just yeah. it. People say to me, why don't you read books anymore, Natasha? Um, or, oh, you could just read this book. I'm like, no, by the time now that I read, I'm so tired that I just... And this has happened since having kids. Like, I can... I read every night, but I read to them. Yeah. Um, and at the moment, we are reading The Glorious Race of Magical Beasts, which is a fabulous book. Um, and it's really, really lovely. And... The other one that I keep saying to people, if you have got grandchildren, um, so bear in mind that I read every night to Freddie and Emily. Freddie is 10, Emily is 5. So we have to find books that are... Well, Emily just has to step up a bit, let's be honest. Uh, <laughs> Which she wouldn't have any problem doing. She doesn't doing. have a problem with. No, 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 no. So we did, we read... she is an independent... Strong, strong independent woman. Yeah. yeah, strong independent woman. Please can you uh, do up my shoelaces? Um... That's our M's. I love it. So plenty of lining left as well. But yeah, so she did. She's funny. So we're reading this glorious book. But, but the other book that I would just say to anybody with children to get is um, The Last Bear and then the sequel, which is Finding Bear. Possibly... And then The Lost Whale, all by um, an author called Hannah Gold. And just, just the most beautifully written But I, I was sobbing at the end. Strong look, isn't it? Hi, kids. Read these books and sob. But no, just really, really beautiful. Really beautiful books. There we go. Right. Keep those in mind. Um, but yeah, so this, this latest one is good it's all very good i love a good book uh, but yeah but then but so that by the time that i come to actually read anything for me i'm exhausted and i just fall asleep and there has been many an occasion where i have also fallen asleep <laughs> it's like mummy can you finish off our bedtime story and there's me <laughs> <laughs> it might not have got them off to sleep but it's got me off to sleep so the lining, in exactly the same way as we're doing the outer fabric. <coughs> we're going to take off that. Now, again, what are we going to make sure we leave, SJA? Yay! By Jove, she's got it. <laughs> By Jove. So we'll just do this now. Um, and then we can put the lining. That would have been quite terrible if I got it wrong, wouldn't it? So we are going to sew down both sides and leave a big gap through there. I've got to try and work out how I do a quarter of an inch 
on this. <gasps> Needle position. How do I know which is a quarter of an inch? Do we, do we need to get Jane in? I don't know. <laughs> I can't remember. It's not like the setting. Uh, stitch speed. No. Sewing. Ah, here we go. It's just on different. Whew. We are a quarter of an inching all over the place. Just going to put a couple of pins in. Because it's quite a big lining. Here we go. Right. Down the sides we go. Nope, not going anywhere. If your machine does this, you know what you can do? Well, with this machine, you can either switch it over to a... Um, in fact, you know what? I'm going to sew this with a slightly wider seam position. Because... Yeah, ever so slightly wider than a half inch, uh, than a quarter inch. Uh, yeah, if your machine does that, you can either have a leader, but it's already, this has already been sort of a little bit chewed. Start on your fabric and then just go back. And it will sometimes happen on machines that, because this has got a wide swing, your fabric can just get caught going down into, into it. Now when, um, when I use my, I've had a bit of a mix up of machines recently. I've been using all sorts. But when I use, I can change the camera. Oh, sorry. That's right. So for those of you that didn't see, it just, <laughs> it just disappeared down into there. Now this has got a straight stitch plate, so you can either switch it across for your straight stitch plate and then it doesn't ever disappear, but it's just because there has to be, this is, because of all the decorative stitches, there has to be a gap there for it to go down into, which means that sometimes your fabric just, it just, if the needle doesn't hit it quite straight, it pushes it down into the hole uh. and then it just gets a little bit trapped. Um, so you can start on and then just go back. Uh, you can do that, so I'll do that here. Or you can switch across to your straight stitch plate. So there's lots of ways around it. You don't get it with the industrial one, ever. My tabletop one, for the simple reason that it just is a straight stitch, so it doesn't have a wide swing. And I do notice that actually when I come across and I use a, another machine that has got any kind of, if it does any stitch other than just a straight stitch, then you're going to have that situation where um, you've got a little bit more of a gap. Because it has to, because otherwise how can it do all the fancy schmancy stitching? It cannot, SJ. So I've left turning through gap on the bottom. And up we come. Everyone's asking us if we have a kitchen in the studio. <laughs> so meowing, no, we don't have a kitchen no. in the studio. We do have a cat that hangs around and meows at the window. We do have that. But not, not allowed in the studio. No, well, not meant to be. No. no. But occasionally. Sneaks in. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Here we go. Well, I mean, we have the studio dogs. Yes. 
So, although they are with Josh today because he's not very well. Yeah. And given that Rue has become his shadow. Oh, really? Absolute shadow. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He doesn't, I mean, he doesn't mind. He'll be my shadow or he'll be Josh's shadow. He doesn't mind just as long as he can be your shadow and just be with you always, oh. then that's fine. But that's I took... That's quite funny because obviously he's, he's a big dog. You'd expect him to know. No, so... He's big and bold. With his history, he was... He was an only dog with an old lady. Oh, OK. Well, then my mum said that, given that the old lady was younger than her, could I stop calling her an old lady? <laughs> Oh. <laughs> older lady, with an older lady. With an older oh, lady. Oh yeah, I can imagine your mum doesn't look Yeah, that. no, she's like, can we, just, can we just stop calling her an old lady, please? Oh, yeah, that's fine, mum, no problem at all. Okay, so that is our lining done. We're gonna put that to one side. For now. Um, we're gonna get the Styleville fix up. And we're going to have a little bit of a chunk off this. You get that on. Just even this bit off. might have had a little slice of this to take to Cornwall. I might not have cut it quite straight. All my bad habits come out to play, don't they? Cut it in a rush. Now, now, now. We are going to cut two strips of this. So you will need a metre of your style bill. And again, use your mat for cutting these. Just level everything up. If you've got something like the Big Easy, we need to get these back in stock, really, don't we? Yeah. Then you can, when you know that this edge is straight and flush, you can then cut down like this. Now, I'm excited to see today whether or not the tapestry will take the fusion. If it was my iron that was just being ridiculous and not playing ball, or if we will have to sew base this in place, which is fine, but we'll find out soon. So that's the interesting part of today. <laughs> How does that a little work trial today? and error, maybe. Yeah, you know, we learn together. It might work. <laughs> might. I mean, let's hope. Let's hope it all works. A bit like our raving review. Yes. I think. Hit and hope. Yeah. You know, sometimes it goes wrong, but we figure it out. But I have included it in the instructions because I know that some of you will use different fabrics. Um, and especially if you did this, because this would look stunning in velvet. And some velvets, you know, you just can't. You just can't um, apply heat to. If you've got though, if you do have, um, oh gosh, one of those pressing mats, Teflon pressing sheet. Yeah. Then you can, with those. Um, oh, what sort of one? With the Teflon pressing sheets, you can you can apply some heat from the top, but please check it first. Please check it first. I don't want you know to say yes, you can do all these things, and then have you go? No, we've just wrecked our fabrics. We hate you. That would not be mm -hmm. my. That would not be a happy day. Not be a happy day for me, SJ. So we're going to do this the height. So again, you're going to have a chunk left over. Scrap bags. 
And then that's much our cutting done, I think. There we go, right. For now. For now, for now. right. Let's have a little look. Because hopefully what you'll find is that that sits in between. So can you see? Ah, yeah. It's sitting in that bit, which means that this become the fold any bits. Mm -hmm. I've got all the technical, all the technical terms for you today. The foldy any bits. Um, <clears throat> Gosh, maybe the other thing out of the way. I'm only going to have to come along and move it all out of the way again in a minute as well, aren't I? But let's see if applying some steam from the top is going to do it. I don't know. Like I say, this will be the interesting thing. May or may not. Hey, it was mine that didn't work. There we go. Happy days. We're winning. Um, so when my iron didn't work, all I did was so baste it in place. And you still might want to do that as well, um, so that you would then get like a definite fold down there. So if you do want to just pop a little running stitch, a long, I just do a long, a long stitch then you can. But that seems to have done the trick. And I wasn't even. Let me try these things so you don't have to. <laughs> That's uh, looking that gorgeous. So applying the steam from the top side of the styleville. That's the way that you want to do it. So here's now what we're going to do. Oh, I've got a bit wonky. Never mind. We are going to. This is the uh, this is the uh, width of your Starville bit. So you're going to pop that on there and just baste that in place. Okay. Let's pop the clips in. Sewing foot is now, and I'm going to just lengthen my stitch because I do just want this basted in. Oh, it's so quiet this machine, I love it. And I'll do exactly the same with the other one. No need to change the angle because I'm coming right back. I don't know what that alarm's for. Something was meant to happen and I can't remember. But, but I don't even know if I did it for today but I just changed an alarm that I have like an everyday alarm. It's like I've been confused every day. I have to have an alarm. It sounds awful, isn't it? I have to have an alarm for every day of the week for the different times that I have to go and collect children. Yeah. Because otherwise, mean, it happens. I get engrossed in stuff. 
And then, you know, let's change that angle now. And every day is... Uh, a different day. A different day. Every day is a different day here, for sure. <laughs> right, so now we're going to do this um, like we would any bag, like we did the lining. We sewed across the bottom, only we're not going to sew in a turning through gap. Um, and we're going to sew down the sides and then we'll box the bottom. It just looks different, but it's not. It's I'm not really. Really intrigued to see how this is going to transform into a bag. This it always amazes me when it's like all cut up pieces, turned inside out, and then, ta -da! Voila! Yeah. I think that was the thing for me. Like the day that I got my head round how things went together, turning through gaps and everything else. Now, on this, I'm going to keep my longer stitch length because I'm going through two layers of style wool, okay? So your stitch length is if you were stitching on just plain normal fabric. But as soon as you've got a depth, and there is a depth here, then you've got to take that into account and just lengthen your stitch length. But I will shorten it again. I'm just going to check that I have... No, I'm just going to sew that just ever so slightly wider because, because, because I am. Um, do you remember I just put that Starville on ever so slightly skew with? Uh, yeah. So I just want to incorporate that. So again, you know, if that happens because you haven't used your magic pins, which are heat resistant, <laughs> and I improve, and I am naughty, for I have the technology here, I just didn't use it, then it's not going to be the end of the world. Look, that has now sewn that in place. And I will just pin, but I will just shorten that stitch length when I'm just going through the two layers of fabric and not all the styleville at the same time. Oh, we're having all the stories now. Sue said I got a phone call from a village primary once and I nodded off in my chair. Not my finest hour. It happens. Oh, I've, I've had phone calls. In fact, now if they change any of the timings to collect the children, Freddie makes sure they ring me to make sure, like if they cancel a club or anything. And it just happened the once that I thought Wednesday was Thursday. Um, <laughs> and, that was, and they happened to come out at a different time on those days you know jane also says that she has an she's had an alarm for the past 11 years to remind her to go and get the kids from school oh, i feel less bad so i think I, i've definitely had it before i've been on the phone to my sister and then i've gone hang on you do realize the time don't you and she's gone no what time is it and said you need to go you need yeah. to go pick your daughter up from nursery she you know she just got, again, too engrossed in her day. I still don't feel as bad as, and I remember this to this day, I had, I went to school with a little boy called Ben when I was very little. And he was one of, two or three, there were maybe three of them. And anyway, she then had another one. And um, she came to pick up the kids from school, no problem. And it was only she had got all the way home before she realised she had left the new baby at the school. Just completely forgotten to take the baby home with her. Oh no. Yeah. She didn't realise when she got home. She got home. She got all the way home before she realised that she'd forgotten the baby. But you hear, you do hear about that sort of stuff, don't you? I mean, Freddie tries to leave his sister around all sorts of places. It's like we don't need her, Mummy. Do you not remember the glory years before we had her? I mean, I did that with my little brother. <laughs> <laughs> I understand I'm like, Freddie. where Freddie's coming from. He's like, no, but Mummy, we don't need her. I'm like, look, a lot of time and effort went into brewing that. Thank you very much. She's coming back with us. Um, so when you box the bottom on here, it does look ever so slightly different. He's cheeky. How oh, very rude. We don't need her. It's like you've got the best one. 
<laughs> we don't need her. I mean, they do love each other, though. They do. He, he just does, thinks he's he very funny. He does a very good job of looking after his... I think that was a lockdown death. thing, though, wasn't it? They kind of had to because they didn't have anybody else. Right, we're going to sew across there. It just looks different because you've got this coming around here. Are you excited? I'm quite excited for this yeah, one. Yeah, I am. And again, you know, tell this Starvel fix who the boss is. Oh, Sue said, my mum left me in my pram at the shops, walked three miles home, put away the shopping and was sick in tea before she realised. It, it yeah, is a thing. The baby brain is a thing. It is a thing. And, you and know... And when does it disappear? I don't know. I'll let you know. I was going to say, is it just something for life? I don't know, because I went from having Emily, I think, into an early menopause. So, you know, I don't really yeah. stand a chance. <laughs> Really. And then Viv says, my first trip after having my daughter, I left her in Tesco. Luckily, the girls knew me. Yeah, but you see, and, and I think it is... Let's just change that angle. I should jiggly pokey this one around. I think it is perfectly normal. Oh, yeah. It's, it's just in this day and age, there's a little bit more hysteria, isn't there? About such things. Yeah. At least we don't live in, live in a country where if you leave your kids in the car, like in like really hot places... If you forget and leave your kid in the back of the car. Yeah, that's not that's gonna end very well. That's quite disastrous, isn't it? Um, and again, just gonna sew across. Across there. What a happy topic. I know, yeah. <laughs> We've so picked for today. I think we're all just um, sharing the... Uh, Disaster stories. Yeah, no, and it's funny, is it? But they are the ones. They are the ones that stick. But I, what I do also remember, and I think this is probably where I first sort of started to realise that actually women do need to look after other women, was I also remember the support that that mum got because all the other mums are like, actually, we need to look out for each other. Yeah. That's just how that one's going to go. <laughs> And this is how this one's gonna go. Ooh, SJ. Okay, okay, I'm ready for this. Very right, exciting. okay, at this point, I just need to say, if you are not gonna use a, a pre-made handle, make that now. And if you're gonna just insert one, you'd need to put that in at this point. I'm going to turn my lining through the right way. Pat says we love sharing. It's, we're a sewing community. I think, <laughs> do you know so what? We need to share these stories to help each other there out. Used to be, there used to be the sewing circles, didn't there? Yeah. And that's, and I think that this is, this is like a modern day sewing circle. All I'm doing here is just making sure that my lining isn't going to be too baggy, too saggy. If it's looking like it might be, I'm just going to increase that seam allowance down the side. That's it. So if I've used a slightly wider seam allowance or that, or if that fabric's got a little bit more give or any of those things, then all I do, and this is why I check it, is just I'm just going to come back to sewing here and just gradually, as if you were sewing a dart, Because these lining fabrics, I can manipulate this a little bit. So if I need to give it a little stretch and make it a little bit wider, then I can. But I'm just going to make it right. Let's go again. But these Very are just clever. the little, yeah. the little things that you can come a cropper with. No one's going to know. No one's going to know. In it goes again. Yeah, uh, sewing circles would be, wouldn't they? It would be women supporting women, yeah. looking after women. I think it's really... Im if living in Cornwall taught me nothing, because I've always lived quite remotely and away from 
away from people. Like I used to live down a mile of unmade track on Bodmin Moor. You know, you don't have a lot of neighbours, and there wasn't that kind of community. It, it's that we we are creatures that need community. We should have community, and if we don't have it, then we need to create it. We need to find it somewhere. Yeah. Um, and I think this is this is it, isn't it? This is one of our communities. Because I know, you know, oh, gossipy women. But it's more than that. Yeah. It's a checking in. It's making sure that people are okay. And giving that little bit of support for those that might be, you know, not having such a great time. Definitely. Helen has asked, on the carpet back, how wide is the top opening? She's thinking tubular frame size. Um, Would it be too big for any of our tubular frames? How wide do I cut the... How wide do I cut... That's a very good question. That is a very good question. Simply find out, shall we now? Do, do, do. You could fit a tubular frame in there. You could. Yeah, you could. So you, you could fit the 25 centimetre tubular frame in there. You could. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah. It would change the shape of it because it would bring it in even more there. So it would end up looking yeah, like that. It would, it would be, make it... Yeah, it would be um, different. If I just show you on here, like that would be the top of it there. And so it would bring it down. I mean, not bad, not a bad shape at all. No, just different. Right. Let's just sew this one, shall we? Show it in place. Last time I did a close-up, we couldn't quite see because the bag got in No, the way. you won't, so, so I would go, go yeah. wide. <laughs> as soon as we start playing with Styleville, yeah. that's it. Forget any kind so of... I'm sorry that we're not going to get a no, close-up no, 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 of no. this. No, That's okay. Because it's got a big bottom. Yeah. We know how that feels. It's got a big bottom. And around we jolly well go. Right. I'm going to increase my stitch length a little bit as we go over the style veil. Oh, Jane Gray said, choices, choices, oh, so many choices, because now you've shown what it could look like with a tubular frame. I think that's a great thing about like a lot of our bag pouch projects is that you know like you've demonstrated if we just put a handle on it and it turns into a bag it still works quite nicely doesn't it? Yeah 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 for sure. Absolutely. It just depends what you're looking for. Um, but this is these are just serving suggestions. Yeah. You know that's the other thing to remember. It's like when you when you make your favourite soup, you'll make it the way the instructions say uh, the first time, and then the second time, you'll be like, oh, actually, you'll start adding your own seasoning. I want a bit more paprika, or this, yeah. or that, or you know, any of that. And that's what it's for. Do 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 do. And round we come. It is a real wide one. Do you know what I can fit in mine? I can fit my um, my rulers, my big rulers. Oh really? Mm. Oh fabulous. Mm. Yeah, when they're open, when it's opened out wide, I absolutely can. Around we go. Getting on this machine, I've got the um, I've got that thing, SJ, that I can take out, so I could have done this like a sleeve. Kind of didn't. Oh, 
because I forgot. <laughs> I'm so used to my industrial that it doesn't. It's quiet though, isn't it, this one? Yeah. Super, super quiet. Right. It is so pretty and you are going to top stitch now around there which is going to help this stay upright mm -hmm. and then if you want we can insert, cut, cut us down a little bit of um, cardboard or interface, like a heavy interface and we're just going to slide in there and then you can stitch it down the sides and then that will help that stand up. And also guys, if you wanted to, if you wanted to in the bottom, before you turn it through, if you want to put bag feet or anything else in, or if you want to put um, a square, um, like a really heavy interfacing along oh, the yeah. base as well, mm -hmm. you can do that. You can add those in before you, or once you've turned it through and then put your bag feet in. You've, you've got all of those options. This is a, this is an easy make, um, and then it gets as difficult as you want it to be, as complex as you want it yeah. to be. There's a lot of things that can be added. To yeah, it, absolutely. Um, and I kind of feel like that is, I've got various threads here that I just need to trim. Um, yeah, I'm going to top stitch, top stitch around. I've got the odd stray thread. And again, this is the nature of the beast. Okay. This is a bit special, isn't it? I am. Like I say, I've never done one quite like this before. Um, so I am. I'm excited. I'm excited for it, for sure. So keeping the seam on top, I've got lots of lots of loose ends that just need a little sewing, a uh, little snip off rather. Now again, I'm going to step up onto that style veil, so just increase my stitch length. You don't have to. It just means that you'll be, it'll take you quite a while to get there, otherwise. And all this is doing is keeping that lining now in place. I'm probably sticking my tongue out in concentration as I come around. <laughs> and I'm just pushing where the starboard is, I'm just pushing that seam under so that as I top stitch, it feels more like under stitching though here where you've got that loop. Um, it's just going to help help it to stand help it to stand tall. 
And around we come again. I mean, it is kind of crying out, isn't it, for bag feet and whatnot. But, and you can sew up your turning through gap. Now, what you've got here just is, you will have the odd bit to snip. You can pop a popper in these bits here. So where that folds in there, on that seam. If you want that to be very much that shape, then what I would suggest you do is pop a little popper. You see on that bit? Yeah. So that you've got that option to keep everything in and neat and tidy. But then if you need to let it out, yeah. then you can. It's also going to help you for security if you've got, you know, any valuables in there, no one's hand can sort of slip in. So you can pop, like I say, a little popper just to hold those in place. Now, we've got these here. We can sew on, do a sew on um, magnetic class, which I've got here, which I will load later. Um, but also, if you want this, and again, th these are optionals, right? If you want to make that really stiff, then you can cut yourself a thin strip, and I'll put all the dimensions in there, a thin strip of cardboard, and then just stitch yeah. downsides and stitch it shut. Should we do that? Let's do that. Let's just check how wide that is. That is about an inch and a half. So I'm going to cut it just over an inch. That's the next question, is if I've actually got a piece of cardboard. Let's use this, shall we? I'm just a bit of upcycling. Ah, perfect. That'll, that'll That's do the job. Huh? Yeah, now if we you've like got... to use what we have. Yeah, which is a cardboard box sitting on the floor. <laughs> this blade needs changing, so we'll use that. Or you can buy expensive interfacing and use that. The choice is yours. <laughs> and if that is now, it's still going to be too wide. I just do that an inch and a half, and I said I wasn't going to do it that much wide, didn't I? Yeah. Yeah, well done, me. Do as I say, everybody, not as I do. is just enough that it'll slide in and if it is a little bit narrower at some point then it might be but I have to cut it even slimmer because what you need to take into account is that at some point you might have gone a little bit narrower on that seam allowance. But this is all the trial and error that you will do at home. It's not exactly faffy. No. Because, you know, it takes what? Like two minutes maybe so far? There you go. But you do want it just to flow in. And not right up to the edge either. Yeah, because you you're going to sew, sew. You need to be able to sew down. But look, all of a sudden, can you see how that now is standing up? Mm 
And that's all I want it for. That is all I want it for. Yeah. It's just to give that little bit of extra structure. Some people use cardboard in their bags as standard. Yeah. You know, that's, that is the other thing. You can hand stitch that, but I know that's not your friend. <laughs> I know you lot too well. So I'm just gonna top stitch down. And just stitch that shut. Just gives me a few more threads to trim. <laughs> but because we haven't gone all the way up to the edge, we are just sewing through the tapestry fabric, which is fine. Oh, this fabric is gorgeous, isn't it? I don't think it's my imagination. It's um, beautiful. Yeah, no, it is stunning. Marianne Have you got a favourite out of them? Oh, um, I think I'm going to go with the, the greenie. I think that's my favourite. I thought mine was going to be the... Strawberry thief. Strawberry thief, but actually... I think this is right up your street, this one. Look at this. Can we look? Yeah, sorry. Yeah. I'm, too, I'm too busy staring myself. I know, I know, I know. It gets like that, doesn't it? You're like, oh, yeah. Get a bit involved. So now what we've got is that upright piece upright. Yeah. So we can then sew the magnetic clasps. And I will I will pop up the details for the sewing magnetic clasps when we come off air. Uh, but that's just mm -hmm. a case of then just sewing it on onto that middle bit there. Handles. Just before we move on, on. Marilyn has asked, could, could you also use the sewing magnet class to hold the fold in sections together too or would you still um, with the yeah you can the yeah no of course you can of course you can um, it's entirely up to you um, I think I tend to use like the clear cam snaps because then you just don't see them and yeah. they're really lightweight you know they're there and that's it so that's that's why I use those otherwise when that's open you'll see you're going to have more metal clips on there which you might want that look and it's certainly not going to look out of place it puts the cost up a little bit so just bear that in mind but i think the thing is is that this is such a special bag that you know there will be those of you that just like it doesn't matter about the price i mean you might not want to you might not want to do I any was going to say, you might not even want to clip it in because it's quite a nice shape when it's out as well. But it's just for those of you that do want that, or you might just want to tuck it in and it stays tucked in. Yeah. Again, these are, these are all the little bits that once you've made it, you start to decide for yourself. But yeah, for sure, that sewing magnet is going to hold that. Um, the decision <laughs> now is which handles do we use? Do we use the blue or 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 the tan? Do we use the tan? I don't know, originally I would have said the tan, but actually I think the blue would look really nice. Yeah. Are we going blue? I think so. The thing is the beautiful thing is if you've got both colours, you can switch them. Yeah. It doesn't matter. And I think this bag would go with both. Let's just... I, mean, I find this so clever that you can just unscrew it's it. It's so clever, isn't it? Pop it onto another bag. Ooh. That does look very pretty. It's nice, isn't it? Mm -hmm. What are we thinking? I think we should go blue. Are we going blue? Yeah? I think so. I quite like this. Sure? Sure, sure? I don't know. 
Because <laughs> oh. your other option, obviously, is the tan, but your other option... Oh, uh, is the one that you've got on the cork bottom. It's just that one. Oh, no, I can't decide. <laughs> Take this out and show you this. Now, these come with silver rivets. But you know what I did? I upgraded. I've got a Ooh, set of got rivets. A lot of people loving the blue. Oh, really? Yeah. So just bear with me because obviously there is a price difference with all of these. Also, got that choice too. Oh, or, so I don't know if we've got any of these ones left, if they've all sold now or not. But we also had oh, those stitching gold. ones. Which come with the gold bits. SJ, I don't know. I don't know. If you don't know, I definitely don't know. All the options, right? Um, I think this is where these ones win because if you don't know, then at some point I can always easily switch it out then for a different colour. I found a really easy way to put these in now. Um, I say, having maybe not brought in the bag that had the scissors that I want for it. Do you need to... I don't know what bag I brought in with me. Right. Um, I'm going to come down three and along. And this is from, so just where your interfacing is. That's where I'm going to mark this in from. And what I would suggest is, I don't know which bag I brought them in with. Where is my bag? I brought, I brought back. Oh, it might still be on the kitchen table. Never mind. Right. Um, what I would say here is make sure that your lining is where your lining needs to be. So just because we're going to go in with a sharp pair of scissors. So hold your bag lining taut. Because the other thing that these do is, um, is they also provide more security for your lining. So what I'm gonna do is just do tiny little snips. This is scaring me that you're cutting this beautiful fabric. It'll all be worth it though. Yeah, but I'll tell you what though. If at any point you don't like it, you just put a button on it. True. You know, that's... A that's actual... And if you haven't snipped into it enough, you just go back in and snip a little bit more. Because they're wide enough around there that you don't see any snippy bits. Yeah. From the outside, it just looks perfect. Yeah. These were an absolute find. So just fold it over a little bit. I used a really tiny pair when I initially did this of sharp scissors. But just, yeah, find that one centre point and then just snip out from there. If you need to draw around the outside of the round bit to make sure that you are, you know, as a guide to where to snip to, you can do that. And like I say, you can always come in and snip out more. 
and these are quite forgiving. You see, I need to snip out a little bit more. These are quite forgiving. <laughs> Come on. It's great how these fit in. I know, I'm just being cautious to not snip a huge amount first. I can always go and snip in more. You see, like I didn't snip my lining quite as much, but I can always snip that lining a little bit more. If needs be, just to get that on like that. And then just, and what that does is give extra security to your lining as well. So now what you've got, and you'd obviously repeat that on the other side. It's a bag that you can hold like that, or you can have like that. And your handles are always going to be at the right angle as well, because you can just angle them around however yeah. you need them to be. There you go. Stunning. That's it. Oh, I can't wait to put the little extra little bits in there. Oh, yeah. But sometimes you do, and especially, you know, if you're holding a bag open, you want that small handle. Yeah. Just as that initial... I love a bag that's got multiple handles. Hands, so my yeah. work bag has got, oh, not the one I've got today, but it's got, it's a backpack, but it's got the small handle. Yeah. So there's so many times where you're just running in and out of the car, you don't need to put it on your back. I just yeah. grab the little handle. That is roomy. There you go. That's today's make. Put it up there. We'll pop that other handle in. Ooh. There you I go. Do you like it with the blue handle? Jane is making this one tomorrow. Um, I just love the illusion of it all. And it's got, we've got beautiful spectrum colours. So they're a different plane to our usual plane. And, um, but they are really, really beautiful quality. We've got those for you tomorrow. You might just want the bundle so that you've got all the planes. Yeah. The uh, fabric, the pattern is coming for free tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it might be that you just want a beautiful bundle of 16 planes, of all of those planes. Because there's a lot in there. And again, we'll do it so that we'll do you a fat quarter bundle. And then if you want half meter of everything, you just buy two. We'll cut it as a continuous length. So that is tomorrow's show. So grab your handles from today, um, your tapestry fabrics, your corks, your bag paraphernalia, however you want to make and play with this. It's all there for you. Yeah. And we will see you here at 10 o'clock tomorrow morning. Thank you ever so much for watching. Take care. Lots of love. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.